Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how we can display multiple KPI visualization in Excel. These are very beautiful and innovative visuals I have created using Excel Auto Save. And the color coding is dynamic. You can see the color coding here. I have taken if the KPI performance will be below 50 then it will be in red if the performance is 50 to 70 then it will be in amber above 70 it will be in green i have taken the performance in percentage but your kpi performance can be in numbers or in percentage because the different kpi can have different data type so here we have just displayed percentage only but you can take number or whatever your data type and you can put the different color code for each KPI. I have simply used the rand between formula here. If I will recalculate this worksheet then you can see the color will be changed of the circle. So this is very innovative way to display your KPI's performance. You can use this in your KPI dashboard or business dashboard and you also can use this in your business presentations so i'll tell you how can you create this in microsoft excel so what i will do i'll copy this kpi data and i will add a new workbook i'll press ctrl n then you can see this book 3 has been added here just paste this kpi data here all right so first of all i'll go to the view and i will remove the grid lines from here then i will put a support formula here that will be color code and I will use a if formula if this value is less than 50% then it should be red if and then I will use and function this value is greater than and equal to 50% and logic 2 I will take if this value which is v2 is less than or equal to 70% then it will be amber else it will be green you can take this formula according to your kpi because all the kpi will have the different color code like kpi 1 may have some different range of percentage according to the color code so you can use the multiple formulas here now i'm just going to fill this formula down and here i will get the color code for each kpi for example the kpi 1 should be displayed in red color because the performance of kpi 1 is just 44 now i will design the visual here so i will select some range here like this so we will create our visualization in this range i'll go to the home and i will fill some color here let's say this color then just right click in this selection and then go to the format cell go to the borders here i will select some darker color of gray let's say this one then i will select this border style and just click on outline and just click on ok so you can see some outline here now we will put our visualization inside this section so i'll go to the insert then i will insert a shape and i'll go to the rectangles and i will insert this rectangle just click here so this rectangle is ready now i will change the size i'll take around this size and just pick this yellow handle and move to left size so the radius will be changed of the corners now our shape will look like this you can change the size also you can take around this size now i'll go to the format and shape outline i'll choose as no outline now just right click on this shape go to the format shape here i'll go to the fill and line under fill i will select the gradient fill so this is some default gradient is available here now what i will do i will remove the one stop from here the first stop i will fill the color as white this one and i will keep it around 35 to 40 position and for the second stop i will keep around 80 this position and i will fill this gray background here this one and i will fill the same gray color here also in the third stop but this time we will take the transparency as 100 percent so our shape will look like this now i will go to the insert then shapes and this time i will insert a rectangle so i'll take this rectangle which is right rectangle just click and just click here now i will go to the format and rotate i will rotate this on 180 degree so what i will do 
I'll click on rotate right 90 and then I will again click on rotate right 90. Now I will change the size of this rectangle. I will keep the size like this and move this rectangle here. Now I'll go to the format and I'll take the shape outline as no outline and just right click go to the format shape and here we will take the gradient fill again. But this time we will remove one stop just keep two stop only remove this stop and for the second stop we will fill the black color. The first should be the white color which is already there. This should be the black color. Now we will change the direction from here. We will take uh, this direction. Now for the first one white stop I will take the transparency as 100%. So our shape will look like this. Now we can add soft edges here. So I'll go to the shape effect and then I'll go to the soft edges and I will add this soft edge which is 2.5 point. Just right click on this shape and click on send to back. Then it will look like this. Just select these both shape together. Right click and make it group. Now copy this shape and paste this here. And now I'll go to the format and then I'll go to the rotate and I will rotate it as flip vertical this one now keep this shape here now i will select both the shape right click and you can make this group now copy this group and paste this here and put this here and you can add other shapes also according to your kpi let's say i have added these four groups and i can add one more group so we can display our 10 kpis so just select all the shapes go to the alignment align this as top and distribute horizontally now we will add the circles here so i'll go to the insert and shape and this time i'll go to the basic shapes and i will take this oval circle here just click here and change the size of this oval circle press shift key while you are changing the size all right so we will take this size now we can remove the outline from here and save fill you can take let's say this green and then you can add some shadow also so i'm going to save effect shadow i will add some inner shadow let's say i'm taking this one so our shape will look like this now i will add a new worksheet here and that will be our support sheet i will copy this oval shape and i'll go to the support sheet i will paste this here I will change the size of this cell first of all right click on this oval shape go to the size and properties here go to the properties and click on don't move or size with cells and just close this now we will move this shape inside this cell now I will copy and I will paste this here and next shape I will paste this here and the size of the column also should be the same so you can copy this cell and here select these two and paste a special column width so size will be the same now you can change the color of the next one here we can take this color and the last one we can take this red color all right now you can remove the grid lines from here now what i will do i'll copy any of the cell from here just copy this and go to the seat one and just go to the home paste a special and here you can click on linked picture so this picture will be available as linked picture here we can delete this one from here just keep this one only so what i will do i'll create three names here for these ranges go to the formulas and go to the name manager just click on new and here we will keep the name as green this is for green and just click on ok just click on new again and this time we will take the name as amber and then the range will be this one which is v1 just click on ok and the last one we will create for red and range will be this one just click on ok close this now here we will create other names also for these 10 kpis for each kpi we will create a name so i'll tell you how can you create just click on name manager click on new we can keep the name as kpi underscore one because we cannot put the space in the name and then here we will use the indirect formula indirect and then we will give this cell and just close this bracket and click on ok similarly we will create the other names also like kpi underscore two and here you will use indirect formula indirect and this time we will take this range which is c3 for kpi2 and just close this bracket now I'm going to create the other names quickly for the other KPIs.
so we have created 10 names for each kpi and we have used the indirect formula here just close this now we will assign the kpi for each linked picture go to the formula bar and first one i am taking for kpi1 so i'll type here kpi1 and just enter so whatever color will be available here that will be available here also just make the duplicate of this oval just press ctrl d and just keep this here and the other ovals also so i have pasted the same oval in each shape this is kpi1 and this is also for kpi1 now i will quickly change the kpi name here so i'll use kpi2 here and this will be for kpi3 and the next will be kpi4 all right so we have given the api name properly in the formula bar now we can add the data labels here so what i will do i'll insert a text box and just drag the text box here just click on the text box go to the formula bar press equal to and then we will click on the performance number and just press enter so you can see it is linked with this performance number change the size we'll go to the format i'll take safe fill as no fill safe outline as no outline Text size you can take slightly bigger around this text size and font you can take agency FP or any other font whatever you want make this bold and align this center and just move this here now quickly make the duplicate of this text box and put in each oval So we have copied the same tax box in each oval. You can see this is connected with B2. Each number is 38. So what quickly I will do this one, I will connect with B3, then this one with B4. And similarly, I will change the others also, B5. Okay, so I have uh, connected with the respective cell, but the formatting has been changed for each tax box. So what I will do, I'll select the first one. I'll go to the home and format painter. Just double click on format painter and just click the tax box. The format will be changed. Just click on the other one also. All right, so we have changed the formatting. Now we will add one more label so you can copy this and paste this here and just connect it with the KPI name. So for the first one I will connect with this and then you can keep this here or if your KPI name is slightly bigger then you can rotate this tax box on 90 degree like this. Make this bold and slightly bigger. Now copy this and paste. Keep this here. Now similarly, like we have connected with A2, this one we will connect with A3 and this with A4 and the other one also. Okay, now the format is again changed. I will select the first one, double click on format painter and just click on the other tax boxes. The same formatting will be applied. So our KPI visualization is ready and you can use this visualization in your KPI dashboard. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching.